Hey guys, Sour Corden 3D here. I'm coming at you with a tutorial for how to use a green screen to Photoshop another image onto another. This is for Photoshop CS5. I'll be doing a CS6 version. Um, I'll probably do it right after this, so today. Alright, so let's get started. First thing you're going to do, you're going to import the pictures that you wanted. As you can see, I already did. I'm going to Photoshop this onto this. And when you load them up into the um, end of the project, it locks them. So what I did was I double clicked the layer and I pressed OK to unlock it. Alright, your next step is going to be to come over here to this magic wand tool. You hold down this and click that. The shortcut for that is by pressing W. And you're going to click on the green. This highlights all the green, all the light colors. And now what you're going to do is you can press backspace. As you can see, it left some green. So you can turn the tolerance up to something like 100. And it selects all the green and doesn't leave anything. As you can see, I'm doing right here. I'm selecting the rest of the green. Oh, I don't want to select that. So I'm going to press Control D, which gets rid of that. And I'm going to Control. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm going to undo that. I'm going to Control Plus to bring it up so I can get rid of all the rest of the screen. Click there and click backspace. Um, instead of doing this, I'm going to go to the magic, this is the background eraser tool. I'm going to scale that down a little bit or size it down. More than that. I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to get rid of the rest of the screen. Oh, I need to undo that. So Control Shift Z doesn't do that. It's a uh, Alt Control Z does that. All right. Now I'm gonna zoom in more because oh, I can't. But you guys see what I'm doing. You guys get the basic idea. I could still be using the uh, Magic Wand tool for this also. I don't need to get that detailed, but depending on how professional you guys want yours to look, you guys can use this magic wand tool again to get this and get rid of this and this because basically all I want is the uh, is King Kong the monkey. Uh, I think there's a little bit more uh, green down here. Not there. Well, let's get rid of this little one. Alright, that should be good for my basic purposes. Now I'm going to use this little grabber tool, the move tool. I'm going to control zero to get that to a normal zoom. Actually, just fit the page, it's 199%. I'm going to grab the King Kong guy, then I'm going to move it around and make sure nothing is still attached to it. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it into this first layer where I want it to be. As you can see, it shows up the size that would have been if this was at 100%, because this is at 66.7%. So it scales it down. And now I'm going to use Control T to transform. Um, you can also do that by going to, I think it's Edit, Free Transform. There's also a transform thing here, which gives you different options. So far, I just need this. This moves the center of the image. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make him a little bit smaller. Actually, I'm going to undo that. And I'm going to hold down shift while I'm doing that so it keeps it to scale. Now I'm going to apply the transformation. I usually do that by clicking the move tool. You can do it by selecting any other tool. Or I think you can press enter. I'm not sure. But I'm going to move him where I want him. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm recovering from a cold, so I'm coughing a little bit. Um, actually, I'm going to move him, put him in, and I'll put him on, uh, on this thing right here. And I'm going to control T again. And I can angle him. 
Oh, actually, I can't use this to angle. I'm going. I'm not going to control T. I'm going to go to Edit, Transform, and oh, rotate. Here it is. Use this rotate. Um, I'm just going to get this to look like how I want it. Actually, I don't want to rotate it at all. Just going to have a monkey just out here. So you can move it wherever you want. <clears throat> and basically the first part of this is all you needed. You can put them wherever you want. You can put them in the corner. Don't know why you do that. But I'm going to put them in the, on the bridge. Looks like he's just standing on the bridge looking off. Um, basically that's all for this tutorial. I mean there's not much to using this. Um, yeah, so that's it. Be sure to comment, rate, subscribe, and let me... Oh, actually. I'll show you how to export this. Go save for web and device. You have it saved as a JPEG and maximum uh, quality. Quality is 100. Optimized. I don't usually use any of these things. Just preference. Um, they're not saved with copyright info. I don't know why you'd need that. So you click save. You can select where you want to save it to. So I guess I'll just save it to desktop. And this was originally Nature 9. I'll save it as King Kong on the bridge. And click save. And then it'll save. And basically that's it. And you're done. Alright. Thanks for watching. Be sure to comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you.